Well, today on Nation Window Cleaners Podcast, we're talking all about holding yourself back. And I bet you're doing it in one form or another and you didn't even know it. So if you're in business, window cleaning or any service, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, the greatest place in the world for window cleaning supplies. And you're here. What is up? How's it going? I hope you're having an amazing week and I hope you're killing it out there. But that's what we're doing. We're talking about being held back. We're, we're, we're talking more specifically about you holding yourself back. And this is an interesting topic because I'll tell you, I talk to hundreds of window cleaners a week. Hundreds. And every time I tell people stats, uh, somebody jumps on Facebook and goes, well, Jersey said this, like they don't believe me, which is cool. Absolutely. I will tell you that none of you know what scope of the scope that we do things, uh, which isn't on you. That's just, you know, we don't, you know, share all the information, but um, giving you kind of an understanding. Last month, I sent 6,066 text messages on my business line. I was on the phone for 178 hours. I have do I do live chat for 26 hours in just two days every week. I mean, out of everything that we do, we talk to a lot of window cleaners. In fact, fun fact, I don't know that I'm even supposed to share this with you, so don't share it. But I think we just had our biggest pack Monday, which means how many orders we shipped out. And we sent out like 720 orders in one day. Like that is orders. Like a lot of those orders are multiple boxes. Like just think of that. We went through, you know, a thousand plus boxes in one day. Like a thousand labels. This is the scope. That's all I'm trying to say. So when I tell you that most of us are doing this, it's very easy for you to be like, well, that's what he would say, but take it with a grain of salt. You don't have to listen to me. This is just, we're hanging out. But I'm telling you that I talk to hundreds of window cleaners a week. This podcast alone, every single week, has got a few thousand downloads. And I mean, people are listening and, and, and that alone is just the concept for that. Not to mention all the people that reach out and we talk face to face. And a lot of us are our own worst enemies. And it's so weird that if I said to you, oh, your competitor, Bill, sorry if your name's Bill, but uh, he is ruining your business. He's costing you money. You'd be like, that son of a, you would be angry. You would be angry. You'd want to change things. You'd want to get at him. You want to get that money. I can't believe he's stealing. But then when I say, or anybody says to you, it's you that are doing this. You're like, yeah, but I mean, we're busy right now, you know, and uh, yeah, I really got to look at that or, oh yeah, really. It's so amazing that the mirror is such an interesting tool. We look at ourselves in the mirror and it's very easy because there's a piece of glass to be like, yeah, oh yeah, you know, I know why, you know, it's, yeah. I mean, it really, really, really is. There's people that I, I talk to and, and work with and um, I've talked to people just on the side too where I'm like, ah, man, this is this is a big issue, man. We gotta, you gotta definitely address this. I would go on that. Like, yeah, you know, it's something I gotta look. So you don't care. Okay, got it. But it's you. You're holding yourself back and you probably don't even know it. You're not doing it to be awful because you're not. You're just busy. You're doing a bunch of other stuff. And I'll start by the first thing that almost all of you are doing wrong, in my opinion. And it's just my opinion. We don't have to share the same opinion, but just to say. And this is one of the things I get in a, and it's so shocking. Hundreds of window cleaning companies I talk to a week. When I tell you averages of hourly, averages of pain pricing, averages of this, so many of you come go, oh, yeah, I can't get that on my ramp. No, I don't know who you're talking to. You're wrong in your pricing. Even in the small areas, you're holding yourself back. 
Now, I'll tell you, I'm going to give you some just general numbers. See how close you are. But a general production time is about $100 man hour. Now, if you're doing your drive time and you're in a big state or whatever, that 85 to 100 is the production time. That's what you should bring in. You ate eight hours, this is how much you should make, right? Pain pricing, I'll tell you, is at a pane, meaning a piece of glass, one square, double hung is two panes of glass, is $10 in and out. That's the average. That's like the most common. Screens, five bucks, tracks. Now, when I tell pricing, people jump on and they, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I'm getting four dollars in my area. Cool, if you are. But understand, by the way, if you want to cuss me out, do that. I don't swear on the podcast because of, uh, you know, we got a lot of JWs and uh, Mormons and things that watch the show that is very prevalent in the industry and they don't like swearing. So I don't swear. But if you want to swear at me, send me an email. Let me know how wrong I am and how stupid I am. Uh, there's a lot of you that have no problem doing that. So definitely, it's always uh, encouraged. Um, but if you say, I can't do it there. My customers won't. I'm only getting four. Who set your pricing? Who told you you could only make four? Well, <laughs> If I charge $10, I wouldn't have any customers. Oh, wow. Okay. So every one of your customers told you they would leave? Well, no, I'm, I'm like, I'm saying. So you are telling yourself that you can't. So, cool. You just proved my theory of this entire show is that you're holding yourself back. Pricing is the big one. I'm telling you, if you're not close to that average, you're just hurting yourself. I, I know this from my own experience. I know this from guys that I, I talk to personally. And um, I, I know this from um, private coaching and, and all this other stuff too. So when we work on things and we get that price difference or change, no one cares. I did an experiment. This is from one of my shows years. This is so long ago. But I was in Wisconsin. We don't have algae in Wisconsin. So like when I do a house wash, it's like literally just washing some dirt off. But in our house washing prices, talking to somebody and they're like, man, you were way low. I'm like, really? We don't really do much. I can't really charge more. I stopped myself. I was sitting at my desk. And this was a Friday that we were, I was going over numbers and you know I'm a big numbers fan. I go, man, you know what? I'm going to double my house washing. Every call that I get next week, I'm just going to double it. And just see like, okay, if I double my price and 55% of the people still go with me, I make more money, right? You can lose half of the people by doubling your price and still make more money. So, like, well, at least for a week. If it goes terribly, then I lost a week of leads and whatever. I switched it the next week and I doubled it. Doubled my price. And I was absolutely still confident, just like I always tell people. If you are not confident when you're telling people prices because you don't believe yourself, that's why people say no. Like your close rate goes down when you're not confident. If I can transfer my confidence to you, you're confident back at me. Changed my price, doubled it overnight. Not one person said no. I had a 100% close rate, which now means I was still pretty off. But this is years ago, years ago. I changed my house wash minimum to $3.99. This is literally 10 years ago. Probably longer than that. $399. There's still people out there doing a $199 house wash because there's signs around there. Oh, well, there's guys in my neighborhood just bringing it down. I love fish. I love a lot of the franchises. There's so many good people out there. I mean, I love a lot of your companies. But a lot of you talk smack on fish. I get that. It's always a competitor. It's somebody you know. You get panicked. They are incredibly uh, efficient at what they do. And you go, ah, fish is in my area. I can't bid more fish is in my area. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Fish is doing it for half. Neat. Kia exists, but so does Lexus. Well, yeah, but those are two different things. Yes. And are you not different than another company? Like, where's your unique selling point? I'm not getting into that. 
Why would I choose you? If you're twice as much, why would I choose you? Yeah, right, see? No, 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 no. All you're doing is talking price. If I hand you two pieces of meat, two steaks from two different butchers, and I go, hey, this one's double this, you'd be like, oh, why? Is that one prime? Oh, it's aged. It's, I'm finding the things and reasons why this one's more. If I say, no, 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 they, they took one piece of meat, they cut two pieces off, and, and they're the exact same thing, you know, we're just looking at price. You'd be like, well, I'm not going to pay double because price is all you're looking at. But raising your prices to where they need to be and continuing to raise them is what businesses do. So many of you are the reason your prices aren't higher. The absolute only reason is because of you. There's no way that you could poll everybody. And I'm telling you right now, if you ask somebody like, would you like to pay more? They're going to be like, no. You don't ask them. But now everybody that's coming in, you raise their prices. Get to that once. Try it for one week. We're busy right now. You have some leads you can do. Double or get to that point. Maybe not double if you're close, but do $10 a pain, ins and outs. $5 a screen, $3 a sell. That is not absurd. This is the average. It's the average. Try it for one week. Try it for one week. And if you have no closes, but be confident, absolutely confident. You can fake confidence. Be confident. If you do that and you're confident and you don't close any of them, okay, you tried it. But don't be the reason you hold yourself back. Pricing is the one that's very hard for people to talk about because there's different areas. I know guys that are out there in a day, one guy every day is doing like $1,800. The, the zip code that they're in is like, I mean, you buy like a three bedroom, you know, 1,100 square foot bungalow and it's like $1.8 million. Like it's a different money, right? There are areas like that, but we're talking absurd small pockets. When you go back to the dollar amount, just a standard normal dollar amount, unless your population is 12 people, and you're cleaning trailer windows, which, right, maybe, you know, maybe that, that market will be a little bit tougher. There might be other things they're interested in. There may be other things they want to know. You can charge these prices. You can change them. You can increase them. The reason you don't increase your prices every year, every year, is because of you. Every other industry Every other product, every other, everything changes prices. In fact, gas changes prices daily. And you've never once not bought in gas. The concept of you holding yourself back is absolute that. The most powerful force in your life is your brain. There's things your brain does you don't even think about. It does. Breathing. Making your heart pump. Right? Being able to fall asleep, being able to wake up, all of those things. You don't know how they work. They do. Your brain does it. Your brain controls everything. If I go, oh, I'm going to go over there or I'm going to reach. My brain is what's telling everything. Your brain controls everything. Literally live or die. If your brain ceases to work, nothing works. So when people say, well, no. I'm not holding myself back. That's, I'm absolutely wrong. Absolutely wrong because your brain controls everything. The hardest thing to do is to convince you something different than you already know. It's just so hard. You are the reason that's stopping yourself. If you're the guy out there going, well, I can't, I can't charge that. You're the reason you're not doing that. So it's you that's holding yourself back. And it's a hard truth. And we're busy right now, so it's very easy to kind of ignore. Another piece of holding yourself back is not tracking. I always find it so interesting when you talk to somebody who's running a business, a real business, and you go, oh, "What do you? what's your ROI on this? Oh, man, I get probably 3 out of 10, 3 out of, I get 9 out of 10, whatever the number is. A, you said probably. B, you're in perfect numbers. You don't know. You don't know. And if you don't know, you're not tracking. I know tracking is boring. I know, I know. But if you're not doing that, then you don't know anything about your business. 
I could guess numbers too. 100% of the time that I've gotten somebody to finally track, really track, let's look at P&Ls, let's look at real numbers. Every single time I've ever done that, there's been a pause in the conversation at some point. Wow, man, I had no idea. You had no idea. You're too busy to have an idea of a guess. When people go, where do you get most of your work from? I think from, no. Ask me about my company when I was running my company number-wise. You could ask me at any time. Where's your Where's your business come from? Uh, I get uh, 21% from Facebook ads. I get uh, 63% from our SEO coming through. I get, I could tell you that because everything is tracked. The reason is, is that if I track something, I know what's being working or what's being beneficial and what sucks. And I cannot tell you how many times I am absolutely guilty of this. That as soon as I start tracking something, I'm like, oh, this, the, the, the meme, you know, is like, this is the moment that he knew he messed up. It is absolutely that. I did that with the phone book. That's how telling you how long ago this premonition came to me. But uh, quickly, I've said the story a hundred times. Every single year, the phone book guy would come to you. At the time, I was spending close to five hundred dollars in all these phone books in different cities, and uh, we got our meeting set up every year. He comes in and tells you how awesome it is, and we should be doing this. And every year, I'm like, yeah, you know, they're still old people. I tracked it that year. I moved everything to tracking. The entire year, I got one job that was at our truck minimum. Little old lady. Never had her again. Couldn't get her booked. She might have died. I don't know. I spent $500 a month. And I got $149 worth of work. I had no idea. No idea. I knew it was not a big one for me. I had no idea. Guess what? I'm not losing money. I made more money by not being in the phone book. I have that all the time where people are like, oh, hey, we looked at these numbers. You're losing money literally on this thing. Or you're spending $1,000 and you're getting like $1,100 of work over here. Why are you keep throwing $1,000 to that when you could take that money and put it over here where every 1000 you spend on SEO, you're getting $4,500 back? Well, SEO is expensive. Yeah, it's only expensive if it's, it's a cost. But if I'm spending $750 a month on SEO, but it's bringing me in $10,000 worth of work that Tracking everything is what it is. If you're not making money in something, stop it. Put that money in something else. Because if you're tracking, you know what works and you know what doesn't. Take what doesn't, put it what it does. Try new things. Track the new things. See if that works. There's so many pieces that if you're not tracking, you don't actually know. You're just guessing. Okay. Shameless plug. Hold on. Hear me out. I got to calm down. I'm getting worked up on this one. I apologize. But I'm a rep for windowcleaner.com, and that is what I do to make money. I uh, I get credit for every sale I put in, big or small, every single sale that I put in. If you put it in yourself, I don't get anything. So let me put it in. It costs you nothing extra, not a penny more. But I get credit, and it's like a high five of awesomeness. So I would love to be your rep. My number is 862-312-2026. This is my cell phone. Call me, text me smoke signals, whatever. I would love to put your orders in because that's how I make my money. And it costs you nothing extra and I can help in a ton of ways and I want to be your best friend. So uh, do that, save my number. Uh, also, if you're a nerd like me and window cleaning is our thing, people go to school, they go to college to learn nursing and then they become a nurse. We start window cleaning and then we don't have a degree in window cleaning except afterwards. That's where stuff like the AWC magazine comes in. American Window Cleaner Magazine, it's a real paper magazine. Every single month goes to your door. If you don't have it yet, I don't know what you're doing. This is what real window cleaning companies get and have. It's got articles on business. It's got pictures. It's got new products. It's got, I love advertising. Like I love seeing new products from people. I love seeing you know companies that have, you know, stories. I can learn about other companies. What are they doing? What can I do better? You know, it's just, it's a cool training magazine and it comes with a sticker sheet. Go and get it. awcmag.com. 
also a way that uh, that magazine can continue to be a magazine is by people buying subscriptions. If you get a subscription, the magazine then has enough money to print more magazines. See how that works? It's amazing. It's a great, great thing. Go awcmag.com. Okay. Back at it. You're holding yourself back. And I'll prove it with another another one. How many of you, and feel free, put it in the comments, text me, let me know if this is you. But how many of you are so busy you stopped advertising? Well, we can't even put them anywhere. Well, because you're busy, that's the point. But then when you become unbusy, you go, well, we better advertise. No, 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 you, you missed that window. Those people went with somebody else, right? It's like, hey, I'm winning the race. I can stop getting gas. Like, why would I, why would I have to hold down the gas pedal if I'm already in front? In that concept, your brain goes, well, because you would slow and everybody would pass you. Yes. If you stop advertising because you're slow, or if you stop advertising to save money, you're absolutely doing things wrong. You don't save money by not advertising. You only do if you weren't making, if you were losing money and you were tracking, then you stop advertising. But not to save money, it's so you don't lose money. But if you're like, yeah, man, I'm so busy, I just had to turn all my ads off. What? Hey, man, I'm finally, I'm finally getting some traction. I better stop all that traction. It's absolutely the worst thing you could do. The momentum that is the hardest thing in business to do, you stop it. The best companies that I've ever talked to, dealt with, helped, whatever. They're the ones that, dude, this is going so crazy. I don't even know where to put these people. I just doubled my advertising budget. Phenomenal. You'll get the other parts. Yeah, we're hiring. We're going crazy getting trucks. I just got three more trucks on order. We're going to have them ready. And if it's hot now and people want it, they will buy and you will have more customers. And now your job is to keep them on the dentist clothes every six months. Strike while the iron is hot. Don't go, oh, I'm so busy I can't. What? Of course, then you, you, you've done something right. Last week we talked about efficiencies. Go back and watch that. But you finally got to a great point. You're going to stop that? So you could just start it all over and take three months to try to get back up and it will be winter and then nobody will be buying anyway. And you'll be like, oh, I'm so slow. You're holding yourself back by thinking you're too busy to advertise. If advertising is working, make it work. Why would you stop growth? Now, before you go and yell at me, and you totally can, it's still fine. But before you do that, when people go, you can grow too fast and you'll destroy your business. Wrong. You can't grow too fast. You can just grow out of control. Meaning like, if you own a lion and you have them on a big enough chain, you can walk them around. He may maul you still, but if the train, you know what I'm saying. But if he's just running around and he's going to do his own thing and you have no control, that's business. You have to have the foundation. You have to say, okay, I'm so busy right now. Don't go, oh, I'll have to find places for it. Make it so. I'm so busy. I got to hire a new crew. I need two people to implement in the other crew so that they're not new. I'm going to move these people. I got to get a new van. That's got to get lettered. I'm ordering the truck now. I got to order this truck because I know this is what's happening. Don't have the thought in your head and be like, well, I don't know what'll happen. No one does. Is this what you're going to make happen? Because you're the one that's in control of that. Don't stop advertising. Grow strong enough to handle that. It's like staff. Uh, I don't have enough staff. We're going to hire in spring. What? Do you need them now? Yeah, man, I really would have. Then hire them. What are you talking about? Well, we slow down. Yeah, we're a seasonal business. What are you talking about? Of course. It's still going to happen next year. <laughs> it doesn't change anything. If we have more staff, then you go find more work. Like, that's something you can do. Well, it's really hard to hire. Yeah. It's hard to hire anything and everybody. That's why you're always hiring. You should ABH always be hiring because it's hard. It takes time. It's expensive to train. You got to buy trucks. You got to be efficient to go. No way. All that stuff makes sense, but you got to hire. 
you got to have the foundation. You can't build a 10-story building on a home's foundation. You have to re dig up the foundation and build a 10-story building's foundation to support the building. You can't go and do the tenant and then all of a sudden be like, you know what? We want a 20-story and just keep building on top of that. You got to rip it all down again. You got to change the foundation for a 20-story. Otherwise, the Leaning Tower of Pisa is what happens. Well, they did it wrong. It can't support the building and guess what? It tips over. That's what happens when people grow too fast. They didn't grow right. And now all of a sudden, their company's not able to keep up. It's not that they grew too fast. They grew too weak. You grew too weak. Absolutely. Another one that uh, people hold back, and I, I'm gonna, I always preface, anytime I talk about equipment, I'm a sales rep, I know, take it with a grain of salt, yes, I'm here, all I want is your money. But I'm telling you this as a business owner. And I'm telling you this on how many people we talk to. And how many people go, you know what, I just don't, we're just really, you know, like really busy right now, and I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to spend a thousand dollars or whatever. You're going to limp along or you're going to do something that, you know, is taking you more time or costing you more money or is doing whatever. And you're the reason you created the budget. The budget is your reason. The budget isn't, well, I have a, a credit card with only this limit. Cool. We look, we'll do it in two payments. Like that, that doesn't stop you. Call them and go, hey, I need more money. Raise my credit line. Like those things in your head are just in your head. That's you holding yourself back. Invest in the gear. The better gear you have, the better the work is. The faster they are, the less fatigued they are, the more work they get done. I'm telling you, I'm, gonna, I'm a huge proponent of water fed. Yes, if you, oh, you're splashing dash, you're not a real window cleaner, cool, bro. That could be your opinion. Absolutely fine. I'm not going to sway you in either way. <clears throat> I know it is the best tool we've ever had in window cleaning ever, ever, ever. If you give me a great website, Good SEO, Monk SEO, my favorite guy in all the world, right? That SEO company, a good website and a water fed pole, I will have an incredible company after a year. What about all this other stuff that aren't you going to door knock and do? No. It's all I need. Yeah, everything else obviously helps. There's other things you could do, but I'm telling you, I could build that with just those two pieces. And a water fed, if you're not in it, is the most amazing tool you'll ever use. But I get a lot of people who ask this question, we're like, hey, I need a, you know, I'm in Utah, worst, hardest water in the country, Utah. Utah, Texas, Florida, bad. I have a thousand dollars to spend, what can I get? Nothing, oh, what do you think I should do? Nothing, you should not do anything. Well, I'm just gonna buy a DI system to start. No, that's not how that works. You don't say, well, I'm racing in NASCAR, uh, but I only got a couple bucks, so I'm going to get a Honda Civic, and that's how I'll start. No, you won't even compete. You're getting the wrong thing. It's, well, I only got enough money for a bass boat, but I want to race in NASCAR, so I'll start with that. Those are two different things. You can't do that. Well, my budget, you told yourself $1,000. Like You said $1,000. It's your budget. If you don't have the money for that, go work. Do another week of work, and now you got enough to buy the right system. Like, all these things are you holding yourself back. And when it comes to gear, people are always like, well, I should get this, but I'll just buy this when it's cheaper. Cool, buy it five times. It'll break in the field. It'll do all those things. It, I'm not saying buy the most expensive. I'm saying buy the best. We've all bought stuff from Harbor Freight. In fact, I think I'm going there uh, this weekend for some stuff that I know I don't really need to use a ton of. So if it's not great, it's not great but it's you that holds yourself back. If you created a budget, or you created, a, these are the tools we use, or you're not changing your rubber regularly, or whatever, it's on you. And you can change that. But again, remember, our brains are the hardest one. If you go, well, I can't, I can't spend $3,000 on a waterfed package. We're not spending $3,000 if, if you knew that that was the investment to make you more money, then it would be a no-brainer. If I said, hey, uh, give me $3,000 and your crews now will be doing everything twice as fast, guaranteed. You'd be like, forever? Yeah, done. Okay, now it's a water fed. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Man, I got a $1,000 budget. You're holding yourself back. Really, you really are. 
Anyway, I'm off my high horse. Sorry, worked out. But if you need a rep, which you do because you probably don't have one already, and I would love to be it. I am Jersey from windowcleaner.com, and I make my money to live and buy hair gel, which by the way, it's paste, not gel. Everybody, by the time, everybody that has me put orders in for them, they always are like, hey, you can buy name brand Band-Aids now or name brand ramen, which I always think is hilarious. But let me put your orders in. It costs you nothing extra. I make a few pennies from it. You have a rep. You're helping me out like a high five. And uh, you're awesome. And then I sit at my desk and think about how awesome you are. So do that. My name, Jersey, like the state. My number is 862-312-2026. It's a cell phone. So text me. Call me. I do a lot of texting. Let me know. Go put everything in your cart. Click save this cart and let me know and I can put the uh, order in for you. Again, cost you nothing extra. Also, go to awcmag.com. The American Window Cleaner Magazine. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You will be better by having that. It's $69 for the entire year, 12 months, to your door. Yeah, there's stickers. They're pretty awesome. The magazine is awesome. It keeps your head fresh. It keeps your head in the game. It keeps you surrounded and immersed in window cleaning. It's absolutely amazing. So go and do that. Okay. I'm done. Uh, until next week, go out there and uh, stop screwing yourself. Stop holding yourself back. Stop being your own worst enemy. But more importantly, go out there and be epic.